So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh. It's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paima needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. Ah! Huh? Did the bartender just say something? You weren't even listening. Anyway, the Dark Knight Hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Uh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight hero. Seems like your standard cookie-cutter urban legend. But just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Look no further. It's me. I am the Dark Knight hero. <laughs> you're right, I'm not. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside... I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here, night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? <laughs> no, I just mean he must be seriously rich. Why is that? People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. It's the same in every hero story, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail, after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. You want to know about... him? In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa! Slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious-looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow! Guess what I did next? I wasn't the bad guy, why would I need to run away? Still, I did leave the scene. I didn't want to be a nuisance to the Dark Knight hero. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius' residence. Correct. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. 
I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Avonius after all? Yes. But I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time you rescued her. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get him out of my mind? Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on, how did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? Oh no, what am I going to do? If Master D. Luke ever finds out. Huh? What's D. Luke gotta do with this? Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight hero, I... I just don't know anymore. Wowee! You saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. But I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so... familiar. Who knows? Now that you mention it, a pyrovision does seem like a good explanation. It lit up the whole area in an instant. I remember that very well. Okay, then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. Hmm. Nope, still no idea. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at nighttime. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. Dark Knight Hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man in his dog in Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight Hero. I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Huzzah! The great mystery of the Dark Knight Hero of Mondstadt! We solved it! Now then, Mr. Dark Knight Hero! Please stop calling me that. Seriously, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest superhero named Paimon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. Like... Um... Captain... Pi... Pi? Captain Pyro! Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? It was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance. Considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions, their persistence is... unusual. I assume so, unless you're aware of any other... Dark Knight heroes around these parts. The Knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. I cannot trust them to take this matter over. <sighs> That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. 
Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Oh? What is it, Master Diluc? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. <gasps> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent backup already? They appear to just be small timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Hey! You're just gonna leave us like this? <sighs> Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nuh-uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch! Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case... The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh! Uh, the Dark Knight hero is... Uh... Him! You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows! On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. Uh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. Wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Oh. Uh. Why would you lie to me about that? Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Oh, it's you two. Thank you for coming. So, the Dark Knight hero, do you have anything else you're able to share with me? Ah, yes, of course I should fill you in first. Apologies for my appalling lapse of etiquette. The situation is... Mm, here, take a look at this. Jeez, what horrible handwriting. Hmm, let me take a closer look. Huh? Some parts of this seem to be complete gibberish. Hmm, <sighs> indeed. Although this is written in the common tongue, it appears that a cipher has been used in many places. Nevertheless, one can grasp the general message from the non-ciphered portions alone. This is a war declaration from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Does that mean the bad guys want the Dark Knight Hero to go away forever and ever? Something like that. Thus, we are hoping to contact him as soon as possible so that we can attempt to coordinate a response. After all, this matter no longer concerns merely the Dark Knight hero himself. It impacts the entire city of Mondstadt. If you find out anything at all, come and find me. A war declaration sent by the Abyss Order? Oh, this is not good news at all for Master Diluc. Quick, we should go tell him right away! Master Diluc! Just now, we were at the Knights of Avonius, and... and... I take it you're about to inform me of the War Declaration from the Abyss Order. I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Don Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. No. That would be playing right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. After all, 
No powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Ooh, the Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. What a sneaky little bunch those guys are. There is a way. But for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I'd been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strength. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... fy... it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. This is the place. Abandoned ruins like these are precisely the kind of place the Abyss Order likes to camp out. Come on, there's no time to lose. How did you find me here, Favonius scum? I am no knight of Favonius. Now start talking. Your plan, what is it? I see you received our letter. But if you think I'm going to let you in on our secrets, I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. <laughs> you appear to have misunderstood the situation you're in. <laughs> I'll talk. I'll talk. Ow, ow, ow! Please, stop! I'll tell you everything. The Abyss Order. We've amassed a force bound by a shared hatred for the Dark Knight hero. They, they will march on the Mondstadt city gates at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. That's everything I know. Please, don't make me suffer those flames again. That's it? Well, I doubt you'd be foolish enough to keep anything else hidden. Now that I have the information I need, I must prepare. I would be grateful if you could keep me updated on how the Knights of Favonius respond to this matter. Yes, Master Diluc, sir! Anything you say, Master Diluc, sir! Why are you acting so strange all of a sudden? In... in light of what just went down here a moment ago... Master Diluc has officially reached number one on Paimon's people not to tick off under any circumstances list. Uh, if we do not make contact with the Dark Knight hero soon... Hmm. Ah, it's you two. I must admit, this issue of the Dark Knight hero is proving to be something of a headache. We've just held a meeting to decide on an appropriate course of action. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> a good one. But, no. The Knights cannot afford to simply stand by and watch while there is even the slightest inkling of a threat facing Mondstadt. If that were the case, more and more people would start to rely on the Dark Knight hero instead of the Knights of Favonius. Oh! Well, what's the plan, then? Find out the Dark Knight hero's true identity and offer him our protection. Protection? He seems to be doing just fine without your protection so far, you know. <sighs> well, since you've aided the Knights in the past, I might as well just tell you. The offer of protection is just a ruse in order for the Knights of Favonius to take over full and exclusive responsibility for this matter. You aren't gonna let the Dark Knight hero be all heroic and stuff? Why not? 
Firstly, to show the might of the Knights of Favonius, to prove to the people that without the Dark Knight hero, they can still rely on the Knights to maintain peace and harmony. Secondly, the Abyss Order have no mercy in their hearts. Well, if anything happened to the Dark Knight hero, it would only serve to further their nefarious ambitions. Gosh, Paima never knew the life of a knight involved so much untold anguish before. But none of this will work if we don't establish the Dark Knight hero's true identity in time. There's no need to despair, Huffman. Just follow my plan, and everything will be fine. Ah, uh, Captain Kaya. Lately... Master Diluc has been working the bar at the Angel's Share every night. All I need you to do is keep him in your sight. Think you can manage that for me? Uh, yes, Captain Kaya. But does that mean that Master Diluc is the Dark Knight hero? Who knows? It's just a hunch. I've been known to be wrong on occasion. Wow. Paimon! feels we saw a whole new side of the Knights of Avonius today. But Paimon doesn't understand. How is Kaya so sure he knows who the Dark Knight hero is? We need to get to the winery and tell Master Diluc as soon as Paimonly possible. Master Diluc, Paimon has something important to tell you. Yes, about Kaya. I should have known he would see this as the perfect opportunity to get back at me. Sounds like there's a bit of bad blood between you guys then. I shan't get into that now. More importantly, the Knights of Favonius are responding more or less as I had anticipated. All we need to do now is think of a counter plan. That won't work. It will only arouse the Knight's suspicion if I don't show up as they're expecting. That's what Kaya is counting on. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Patience. Let me think for a moment. Hmm. If they intend to monitor me, then so be it. We can use this to create the perfect alibi. What's in a labla? An alibi. If you want to find out, maybe you can do me a small favor first. Oh, come on. Why do you love cliffhangers so much? In Mondstadt, mist flowers are most commonly found in a region just northwest of the winery. If you could gather some for me, I'd be most grateful. I will make other preparations here in the meantime. Ah, you're back. Allow me to introduce the winery's master brewer. So many mist flowers. Great. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So, are you certain the equipment can withstand this level of purity? Oh my, my goodness. The winery owner himself is addressing me directly. Uh, don't worry, sir. It is always my honor to serve you, even if it means risking my life. Huh? What's so life-threatening about this? Uh, please, excuse me. I must get to work. What's he gonna do with a bunch of mist flowers? Long story short. A few days ago, the winery was experimenting with some new flavors. They wanted to see if mist flower can truly add a crisp and refreshing taste. Sure enough, they discovered that the flower's extract is truly potent. So the new batch is selling like hotcakes? No, not potent in terms of attracting customers, but slimes. Slimes need to extract elemental energy to survive. For them, this substance is simply irresistible. So I thought to myself, I wonder how much trouble I could cause now that I know this. Yikes! What was that noise? Oh, cold! So cold! <laughs> oh, Master D. Luke, purification complete, sir. But the equipment is... Marvelous work. 
Don't fret about the equipment. I shall have my butler order more immediately. Marvelous! Jelly ho! Spiffing! Somebody fetch the butler! Pyra never knew you had to be so well spoken to get a job in the alcohol industry. This is what I was talking about. Mist flower extract. Or, for our purposes, elemental bait. Wow! It really has a strong elemental... whiff. Can we test it out? Sprinkle a little on the ground over there. Careful, just a small amount. And then... that's it? How long does it take before... Holy moly, it really does attract slimes! And even more than we expected. It appears the potency is greater than anticipated. We'd better get rid of them before they wreak havoc on the manor. Ooh, such a powerful effect from such a small amount of extract. At least we didn't go picking wildflowers for nothing. All right, so can you tell us what your plan is now, Master Diluc? Yes, the plan is... And so, I expect it to all go down without a hitch. Hmm. Are you sure it will work? You're the only person in the plan. I have persevered alone from the start. Now, I alone must face what lies ahead. Well, if you already made up your mind. But until that moment comes, we can still help you out where we can. Isn't that right? I am indeed indebted to you. I shall see you at the tavern, as per the plan. Let's wait until evening to meet Master Diluc at the tavern. Greetings, Mr. Hoffman of the Knights of Favonius. To what do I owe the pleasure at this hour? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm merely procrastinating. I thought I might indulge myself with a beverage or two. Ah, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we were in the mood for an evening stroll. What would you like to drink? I'll have a dandelion wine, I suppose. Ooh, Pinon wants apple juice. Aw, but Pinon forgot to bring her coin pouch. Do you have any more on you? Then I must regretfully ask you to come back when you can pay. Well, in that case, let this be my treat. No need. We'll be back in a jiffy. Huffman showed up just as expected. Okay, remember the plan? Go to the city side gate and place the elemental bait. Whoa, you used all of it. This is going to be pretty epic. Yikes, here comes the slimes. Quick, let's get to the tavern before anyone spots us. Captain Kaya is no doubt a formidable knight, but he also brings us more than his share of hassle. Uh, no, no, this isn't right. I should not be talking about my superior in such a manner. If he were to overhear me... We're back! Is my apple juice ready? <clears throat> One moment. <laughs> Mr. Huffman! Mr. Huffman! A situation at the side gate! Everyone to the side gate! What is it? What happened? Uh, it's... slimes, Mr. Huffman. Slimes? You see them all the time. What's the big panic? We do, but... Sir, there are more slimes out there now than all the slimes I've seen in my life added together. Uh, whoa! Surely this couldn't be the Abyss Order's secret weapon. But I have another matter to attend to here. Oh? The matter of your dandelion wine? No, no, I, I, uh, that's not what I meant. Hmm. <laughs> so this is how the Knights of Favonius conduct themselves in a crisis. The Abyss Order is encroaching on the city gates, and your response is to sit here drinking wine? It's like I've always said, the Knights are not to be trusted. I... Ugh. <sighs> Master G. Luke is right. My conduct here has been below par. I shall set off at once. But first, may I have a quiet word? Huh? Shh, I'll 
Keep your voice down. I presume you know what this is about. Please watch D look for me. Do not let him leave under any circumstances. I must head to the side gate, but I'll be back shortly. I'm counting on you. Good. That's him out of the way. Everything's going according to plan. I must get going, too. I won't have a second to spare if I'm to be back in time. Classic Master D. Luke. Not a baddie left standing. Nothing more than a few hilly churls. No time to chat. I don't know how long those slimes will keep Huffman occupied. Best get back to the tavern. Oh, glad that's settled. Let's get back to the tavern. You think Huffman is back yet? It seems Huffman hasn't yet returned. He made it in time. <sighs> the situation is sorted now. I never expected that the Abyss Order's army would turn out to be nothing more than a few slimes. <laughs> That is a surprise. Perhaps the knight's true calling is to be slime exterminators. Who knows? Domestic pest control may turn out to be a more valuable use of your resources. <sighs> Master D. Luke, please, have you no respect at all? Well, how come you're sweating so much? You didn't leave, did you? Is it? But if that's the case, why are you also out of breath? Huffman is getting suspicious. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, sir. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Did you see Master D. Luke... Uh, I mean, today's bartender. Uh, did you see him leave just now? Yikes! He's asking other customers! We're done for! Master D. Luke? Why, no. He's been behind the bar this entire time. I see. Mr. Huffman, your dandelion wine. You ought to get back after this. Send my regards to the rest of the knights. Oh, never mind. I must be going. I should report back. Here, take this as a token of my esteem. Hmm, how odd. That was too close. Paimon was sure we were toast. I foresaw this eventuality. So, all the guests here tonight, save you two, are my own people from the Dawn Winery. They're all in on it? Not all of them. Or should I say, not all of us. Kaya, where did you come from? I just picked a good spot to quietly sit and watch the show. What? You've been here this whole time? Correct. The Dark Knight Hero's Alibi. I think it's my favorite chapter so far. More intriguing than a fine wine. <sighs> so, you plan to report everything to the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Come now, D. Luke. You know me better than that. I have no interest in exposing secrets. I was just curious to see how far Mondstadt's Dark Knight hero would really go. And you did not disappoint. I have nothing to prove to you. Oh, naturally. I must say, though, one thing I didn't see coming is that the mighty Dark Knight hero would actually need help from other people. Sorry, we're closing. Please see yourselves out. All right, all right. I have no further need of wine to entertain myself tonight in any case. Just one last thing before I go. It had better be the very last thing. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, D. Luke. <clears throat> I hope you all have a wonderful night. What was all that about? <sighs> Don't mind him. Thank you for all your help with this matter. This is a token of my gratitude. Wow! Thanks, Master D. Luke. I'm in the habit of working alone. But I did enjoy having your assistance this time. In the future, if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. <laughs> <laughs>